Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to take a look at the WebEx board and how to whiteboard, do some annotations, and then ultimately send that work to yourself and to your teammates as an email. I'm going to show you what it looks like on the WebEx board from a user's perspective, what it looks like in your email, and then ultimately how to configure it as an administrator. Well, let's dive in and check it out firsthand. First things first, let's open up a whiteboard. I have a couple whiteboards uh, kind of pre-created here. So uh, here you can see one. I just have Cisco written on the, uh, the board. What I can do is actually come to the lower corner of the screen, hit the email button. You can see the different thumbnails of the whiteboarding work that I've already done. Here's the one that says Cisco. Here's one that has some sticky notes. We'll select that one. And there it is a Venn diagram there that I drew as well. From there, uh, once you have those selected, hit the blue advanced arrow. Here, this is pretty intuitive. Simply type in the names of the individuals if they're inside of your organization and they're part of your directory. Uh, or you can type in the full email address of folks who are either not in the directory or who are not part of your organization. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. If a recipient is in your organization, you can see their name and actually their avatar as well. With that being said, I have myself selected. I'm going to hit the blue checkbox to have these whiteboards actually sent via email. When it's done, a message will appear on the screen that says email sent. Let's go over to the email client now and check out what this document actually looks like. Opening the whiteboard documents once they're received in your email is quite simple. Open up the email message that came from the WebEx board and simply open the attached document. To provision the whiteboard emailing feature as an administrator, log into the web interface of the video endpoint. You want to navigate to setup and email settings. Once you're at that page, you can use really either of these options that are very similar, uh, the wizard or manual configuration. We'll use manual. You want to put in the server address, the encryption method, port number, username, password, and the from email address. Let's go ahead and do that now. Once your settings are entered, click Verify and Save. When the test is complete, you'll get a success message. Simply hit OK, and the Email Whiteboard button should now be provisioned on the user interface of the WebEx board itself. Hopefully that's been a helpful introduction to the Whiteboard emailing feature on the WebEx board. If you have questions, comments, other tips or tricks, please leave them in the comments section below. I want to thank you for watching, and I hope to see you back sometime soon.